Creating runouts is a fabulous way of being able to put detail onto a cake which introduces a 3D element. It takes again a lot of the jeopardy out of decorating or piping straight onto cakes because you can do flooded detail of building up something that has a very lovely embossed puffy pillowy effect. In association with Bako Glide I've brought out this non-stick icing sheet which is lovely because you can reuse it, wipes clean and you can see through it. So the idea is that when you have a, a decoration that you want to create as a 3D effect of a, of a run out, you can place the Bako Glide sheet straight over the top of the picture. So I'm using the butterflies here. It's very much a similar way to how I did this cake. And then using the royal icing, pipe the outline of the butterfly using a stiff royal icing with a nice wide tip. And through the Bako Glide, you very carefully make contact with the the sheet and then lift the nozzle up so that you can allow the icing to fall into position around the detail of the decoration you want to hand pipe like this and the reason we use the Bako Glide is so that these details can set firm and then peel them off the next day. Now I've thinned this royal icing down with a little bit of water to make it more of a running consistency snip the end off the bag so there's no nozzle in here they're just into a straightforward disposable piping bag and then with the tip of the icing in the, the tip of the bag in the icing itself I'm flooding the outline of this butterfly with the icing and then with our paint brushes which are all sable sable hair so they're very very fine and lovely to use use the paintbrush to gently push the icing into the corners of the, the outline of what you've, you've hand piped. Now the reason that you do the flooding like this is the flooding will fill the outline that you've hand piped. The outline actually works to stop the icing from contracting as it sets rather than spilling over and holds the actual shape and then flood the bottom half of the wings. So these butterflies will take overnight to set um, they're great for creating monograms, lettering, detail work. So if there's a specific detail on a wedding invitation that you want to recreate as an icing effect, this is a lovely way to be able to do it. And once these are set overnight, you then use a little small cranked palette knife to remove them off the Bako Glide and then fix them into position on your cake.